Good morning, Vidak. My name is Corpop16. Today we're watching an ESEA open match. This is Little Sparkles trying to take on the Petting Zoo. And, uh, this is Vida. This is uh, week two, game one. Game one of week two. Game three overall uh, of ESEA open. And uh, yeah, this is probably one of the more exciting weeks, I'd say, considering we are playing on Vidak, the only King of the Hill map in ESEA's rotation. Pretty sure, at least. <laughs> Can't imagine there'd be any other uh, King of the Hill maps they play. Um, but yeah, this, these teams should be evenly matched, kind of. Uh, at least they are both two down in this season. So one of them is going to get to uh, change that record. One of them is going to go three down, which is not a place you really want to be, especially this early in the season. But, um, you know, there's still a lot of time in the season to uh, come back and to, you know gain traction again, figure out uh, how to play the game. So hopefully both these teams can figure that out and uh, come back later. So we are just waiting on one player, I believe it's one of the scouts on Little Sparkles. So we'll wait for them to ready up. I will go down the rosters really quick before we get started. Uh, on Petting Zoo, we've got Android and Pika on Scout. We have Ordu and Squidmatron on uh, soldier, that's gonna be Ordu, Roamer, and Squid on Pocket. Then we have Jun on Demo and Pun on Medic. So that should be pretty good. And then on uh, Little Sparkles, looks like they do have everyone. Uh, I believe we're gonna see Verd on Roamer, Scrub on Pocket, Small Time on Demo, Zealous on Medic, and then looks like that's gonna be Lar and Beta on Scouts. So. We'll see. I'm not sure those two aren't on the... Well, they're listed on the roster as different names, but I'm sure it's the same people uh, who've just changed their name since that list was posted. But I expect we'll get started sometime here soon. This is honestly, you know, despite these teams uh, not doing so well in the previous season, this is the first, like, this is the earliest I've ever seen 12 players in the server <laughs> throw casting, uh, through my time casting ESCA. And I haven't cast too many games in ESCA, but... Still, generally it takes a whole lot longer, and uh, it's exciting. I might not see the message telling one of the teams to call a forfeit, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> I believe it's only yeah three minutes past when the game was supposed to start. That's really good. That's really, really good. Maybe they won't ready up for 20 minutes, which, you know, is possible. Uh, I'm always happy to see that. So. <laughs> So yeah, again, both these teams are down too. I couldn't find any other matches, uh, you know, both two ups or anything like that. Um, but I think it might be pretty interesting to see. Uh, hopefully these teams don't make too many mistakes. I mean, of course it is ESCA. So even the low of ESCA, you know, they did pay money to get in here. It's going to be fairly high skill. This isn't your average UGC iron match. Uh, this is still probably going to see some good competition. At least I hope so. Because uh, otherwise I'm never casting bad teams again. This is it. This is the make or break right here. Uh, if these teams can't show up tonight, then probably just won't cast any good teams. Um, until we get to, like, Funk's team versus x time Because I saw that is a match coming up. I looked at the schedules today, and I saw that one coming up. That one's going to be fun to cast. I'm excited for that. <laughs> uh, I believe those are the only two quote-unquote famous uh, TF2 people playing in Open this season that I'll be casting think so at least. I don't know. There's probably more that I just don't know about or don't know that they play open. Uh, and all, as far as I could tell, none of these guys uh, are anything like that. <laughs> Although they do both have the record uh, of x and Funk's team. So, you know, one day. The similarities are there. I believe that one day if they follow their heart, they can get big YouTube money, which in TF2 terms is maybe $10. Um, so it's really nice. Hmm. Again, these scouts making me uh, change the roster list I have. Changing, I don't know if it's the name change or if it is different players. I'm assuming it's not different players because I don't think ESA allows that kind of stuff. Uh, but I guess I can come up change it up on my document here. That's beta. Alright. Everybody looks tagged up. I'm not quite sure why nobody's starting. Uh, somebody back here. Unless the game started, I didn't even realize, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't started. 
Yeah, looks like they are readying up, so. Mm, you all have six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would expect every player to ready up pretty soon here. Maybe they're just warming up. Didn't have a pregame. Gotta <laughs> treat this warm up time as a pregame. They do have 15 minutes, as I said. I was kind of hoping not to see a 15 minute uh, pregame type thing, but <laughs> I might have to. Oh, it's gonna be a third pregame round, though, in favor of. I believe that's. Yeah, it's uh, the petting zoo, so. Hopefully for Team uh, Little Sparkles, that's not a telling sign of things to come. <laughs> yeah, we all know pregame is real game, so... Yeah, waiting for the home team to pick their side. Alright, there we go. So, we'll watch them roll out to mid here. Of course, we are going to see the couple of restarts. And, uh... Yeah, so... Petting Zoo chose blue side. I believe that's just kind of what they were on in pregame. So here we go. Match is now live. We'll see what happens on the very first mid of the match. Who's going to get here first? Looking like most of uh, red team rolling out left. They're both kind of rolling out the same side. It's pretty meta. Both teams kind of get there at the same time. Uh, no early aggression, although Scrub is about half health at the moment. Bird's walking across the point, but he does go down. He's the first casualty. Now the other soldier jumping. He's also going to go down. Scrub going to be the third casualty. They're trying to get picks, but they're just not getting anything. And now there's only three up um, for a little sparkles. Two up now at this point. It's just the med and Lar. And they're backing up. Zoo is chasing. It's just the med alive here. He's being chased by a scout. I can't imagine it much longer. No, he does go down. Bird does get revenge on Pika. That's going to be the first frag in their favor. But horrendous mid fight. And yeah, little sparkles going to go down. Uh, Verd, that is, to the sticky trap on this left-hand side. And now I believe a forward hold is kind of coming out of the petting zoo, but it looks like they are going to back out of that and give the other team a little bit of room so they don't miss anything up. Lar is on Sniper, which is, you know, Viaduct, a pretty dominant Sniper map. He's uh, looking for what he can get up here on Cliff. Let's we'll see if he does manage to pick up any frags. The Uber did get popped out from Zoo. So, uh, er, sorry, pun there. And I'm not sure if that was a force. He just didn't lose any health. I think, nah. They just kind of popped forward, I believe. And, you know, they got a couple good frags with it, but they are going to be at a bit of an uber disadvantage now. Sniper, yeah, not going to get anything as uh, Android picks up that frag. And we've just seen really strong dominance at this point. You see the demo is back up here. That is going to be Jun going down. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. But that's, that is something that I'm not sure if they do want to push off of. Yeah, it is a demo pick, so that is fairly substantial. They are going in here. Scrub's jumping in on the medic. He's gotten a frag. Oh, and the medic does go down there. That's an excellent bomb by him. But now up on the cliffhand side, we see Squid doing the counter bomb here. He does get Zealous, and that's the one that he wanted. That was the medic frag. So they are going to lose the point. But again, great work by Squid to uh, recognize that that frag needed to be taken care of and cleaning that up. Scott actually up here on the bats causing some pain. Um, and now we're going to see the red team, Lil Sparkles, try to hold this point for longer than the other team. They're down to 135. Petting Zoo are, and Zoo is at about half health. He could go down to one good bomb. Overhand left inside. Verd and Small Time both just went down, though. Uh, it's not going to be good. That is the Demo Man and one of the soldiers. Pika does go down to Scrub, though, and they're just going to walk up and take that point. I guess they did push off those two frags there. And Lar also going to go down, so... A little bit of bleeding, but now the bomb's going to be coming in from the soldier. He, he got him up in the air, and now he's in with the other team. Pun. In dangerous situations, he is going to be able to get out. That A lot of the teammates are not, though, as uh, Squid and Ordu both going to go down to that. A uh, little fight there. And now, about, looks like pretty big advantage for the defending uh, team. They're actually going to pop here. So I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully this does work out for them. They popped onto two scouts, and they're just kind of running forward this. Beta did go down, and now the scout is on the medic. He needs this frag. He does pick it up. Pika getting the frag that they wanted. That means they're going to secure their hold. That was definitely a worthwhile pop. They did get that medic. They got what they wanted. They didn't lose too many players either. They only lost Pika, which is a really great uh, aggressive uber, I think. As now, they're going to get even more time on this clock, and looks like they probably uh, 
Red team are just gonna have to push even without anything. Yeah, double soldier bomb gonna come in. They're both gonna get absolutely destroyed though. They're not gonna get anything with that. As uh, Ordu's in deep a little bit, and yeah, they're getting pretty aggressive now. They pick up another frag on Lara, and it's just the medic and demo alive. There's not too much they can do at this point. Little Sparkles need to do something in the next 20 seconds, but really doesn't look like it's gonna happen. A bomb comes out on the medic, but not really gonna commit to that frag. He is very low though. He's at like one health. He's trying to run back into spawn, but really they need to get on this point. There's 10 seconds. It's just Verd. He is gonna go down there, and finally the soldier is jumping on here to get a little bit of time. The pop does come out. And this is really just desperation times at this point. They're throwing their bodies at the point. The scout actually doing a bit of work here. They did just get a couple frags. Both scouts are on the point, but now they're just collapsing, and yeah, that's gonna be nearly everybody going down. And it is Lar focusing down that medic, but no, he's not gonna be able to take on five players, and he's gonna go down. And that's gonna be the first round in favor of the petting zoo and you know petting zoo kind of coming out and showing that they are the dominant team here uh, hopefully little sparkles does have some sort of an answer because it really just wasn't working out they did have that sniper originally and sniper can be very strong on viaduct so we'll see if they maybe try to play off that a little bit more uh, of course that Sniper didn't work out the first time he got zero picks, but uh, fast bomb actually coming in here from Verd. He's getting a lot of damage down. He did get uh, Pikas did go down on that. Oh, nice uh, <laughs> building shot there. I guess it wasn't a total air shot, but he wasn't air when he died. And yeah, he's gonna lose that fight now in red. Actually, uh, little sparkles. Only Android alive. He's going after that medic, but he is gonna get shut down by Lars. So that is three alive as they cap the midpoint. So much stronger setting uh, as they just came out on the point. Little sparkles. Did a really good job there. And now we're going to have to see as the petting zoo try to push out of this and push back onto this point. Doesn't look like they are going to hold, do any sort of a forward hole. However, Verd is in on this left hand side. It's going to cause people to go forward. Now they are going forward. They got small time, which was the demo man. Now they're chasing the medic and they did get Zealous. We saw in those outlines. And they're still up alive. Although they just did go down though. And I mean, they got their medic and their medic stayed alive. So that was a really good suicide run actually. Uh, they got the medic, and now they're going to be able to push onto this with full advantage. Uh, very good tactic. Lara is actually very deep. He's just scouting around, I think. Uh, but he's found a 1v1 that I'm not sure if he wanted to take. He does get Soldier back up, and he's going to force the other scout to back up. But Android is going to pick up that frag. So now they're pushing in with two advantages. Scrub also goes down. Full Uber. Yeah, I can't imagine they don't take this point. And uh, it'd be very wise for Little Sparkles to back off at this point in time. And it looks like they aren't going to be chased. Uh, they are three down at the moment. And they didn't even actually have to pop for that. I didn't quite realize, but no. Petting Zoo didn't pop at all in that exchange. They just walked in with sheer numbers. And uh, they managed to force him back. They're already doing a forward hold. I'm assuming Little Sparkles are just going to try to uh, build Uber here and hopefully try to get out of this. This isn't the position they want to be in. They drop Lara too, so that's not good. Demo has gotten a little bit of ground here. And on the right-hand side, they've also pushed out a little bit with their flank. A uh, very low scout here, though. Going to be Soldier chasing... Ordu, and he is going to pick up that frag, so that was going to be Scrub on the flank, and now they've kind of pushed them out of the forward hold. They're going to be wanting to pop into this eventually, though. Nobody really committing their life at this point in time. As I said that, though, Verd is going to jump in, and the pop is going to come out from the blue medic, and they're pushing off. The counter pop does come out from Zealus here, as they're going to be going across the point. Uh, Lar actually went down there, and Android very lit at the moment. He's Yeah, he's not going to survive that. Ooh, the soldier did a big jump there, and he... Uh, did end up dying for that. And Sue now just going to come in there. Pika getting the medic frag. And he's now in the 1v1 that it doesn't look like he's winning. Uh, but he might just end up winning. That he, yes, he does win. As uh, he takes down Beta. And that scout does make a little cheer there. So point is uh, currently in favor of Petting Zoo. I believe they had it originally. So that did go in their favor. There's a lot of uh, chaotic frags that they happen to win with just better DM. And they're getting a little bit aggressive on this flank hand side. Uh, Lars a little bit trapped in there. Uh, he's going to back up. And actually, oh my god, Pika in on the medic. He's been doing excellent work this game. Uh, just destroying that medic, getting the frags that he needs to. And of course, he did die for that, but that's definitely worth for him. Uh, it seems going to be thanking him for that frag, as they are going to be at 100% uber advantage. And they only need to hold this for a minute more. Uh, this is looking like probably a second round. Squid is up on this rock here, but uh, he's going to be forced back now. So again, just kind of passive. I mean, there's really not much they can do except hopefully try to get some sort of a pick. Um, little Sparkles is... The, and, you know, Zealous at a pretty big disadvantage. They have 50 seconds to cap this point. I mean, I think they can probably build in that time. But actually, the pop again. Another forward pop actually coming out. And they're getting a ton of frags. Verge did go down. Lar also actually going to go down here. So that's two down. Um, 
And I think some respawns just came in there. They got a bit of space, but I'm not really sure if that was a good uh, Uber. The scrub actually coming in now. He picked up Pika, but that's not the frag he wanted. Uh, I think he got Jun as well. Oh, there the medic did come in and clean that up. That was great aggression there as Ord does come in here, and he's not going to get anything. So, yeah, great work by that one soldier just jumping in, making the space that his team needed. And uh, they are going to grab that point with only 20 seconds left on the clock. Uh, they have to hold it for a minute 40, which, you know, it's not going to be easy, but it's not impossible either. We're going to watch uh, a petting zoo as they try to push out here. Demo just kind of spamming up top. He's got one good sickie. Um, oh, and Squid actually went down to a trap. It's not going to be good for him, but they are going to have to back off of that trap popping. Ordu again going to be jumping in here. He's on the medic. He wants that frag. He's not going to get anything. His beta is going to shut him down. And now Scout isn't actually. He got the force off of him, and that's pretty much what they wanted. Looks like Petting Zoo is just going to back up, and they're going to wait for their uber advantage to be fully realized before they push into this. Yeah, a great double kind of commitment by the two flank members there. Uh, we've seen that Petting Zoo have been very good at this kind of coordinated aggression, and they are going to be showing that again as they push in here. They haven't dropped any players, but the uber does come out, and now he's onto the medic immediately. He drops both players, and yeah, there's just... Total carnage. Nobody surviving here. It's just, just Lar. He's trying to do something for his team. He's not going to be able to stop this point getting capped, though. It's just Scrub now bombing in. He's getting the medic down. He got two good rockets on him, but that's not going to be enough. The point is going to be in favor. That's a complete wipe. Ten seconds left. It's going to be just desperation, but I doubt they can do anything at this point. As they try to run out here, Verd's probably going to be the only one who can maybe get on this point. My people stall into overtime. Now he's just going to instantly go down, and now the demo is on with the medic. They're trying to do something again here, but Medic goes down. Just the demo. They really can't do anything here. They're not coordinated. Yeah, not a whole lot happening. And that's going to be 2 nothing for the Petting Zoo. Ugh, this isn't really good, looking good. I mean, Little Sparkles have shown that uh, they are capable. They did win that mid-fight. They had a decent amount of time off the clock, but they really need to pick up a round here and start their momentum. Or else they're just going to go home. Um, so we're going to see what happens again. Not really fast aggression right off the bat. Lots of spam going down. We're going to see nobody even crossing the point really. Ordu kind of getting aggressive in that flank area, but not really. Oh, finally, Scout running across the point. He is going to go down there. He did pick up a couple frags though. And uh, we do see soldiers fighting up here on the cliff hand side. Yeah, again, just this aggression coming out from the petting zoo. They're getting all the frags, and they're just winning this thing. Pika now again in where he shouldn't be. He picks up one frag, or he's sorry, he got the assist on that. I'm not sure if he is going to be able to get the medic at this point in time. Well, he got the demo. He's chasing the medic now into his spawn area. He's pistoling him down. He's about half health. He's chasing him into spawn, but no. Lar is going to pick up that frag. The scout was very hungry, but he doesn't manage to pick up that kill. It's okay. Pika's been doing pretty great work other than that uh, the rest of this game. Now it's Demo and Scout here holding this cliff side. As looks like they're trying to come through main. The combo is uh, they're getting kind of spammed out, but they are going to jump. The Ubers are going to get exchanged. Nobody really dying, and this is everyone's invincible. Uh, but the Demo does get dropped there. That's small time as well as Ordu over on the flank. So uh, that's a little bit of an opening. Um, but they just lost too many important players there. A soldier and a Demo down. They really can't push with that. Especially when they didn't get the counter frags. Now, we are going to see Scrub bombing in onto the medic. It looks like he was kind of standing still. Not quite sure what happened. He did pick up that frag and he did die for it. But, um, really unfortunate if that medic died because of a lag or something there. I don't know. It looked like he was just kind of standing still. Uh, as the scout gets shut down, trying to get the return medic frag. Uh, now Pika, though, is on the medic. Oh, and he does land the shot. That was, uh, Squid with the final rocket onto Zealus. They bled a lot of players, though. It's only Pun and Ordu up. And uh, Ordu is still in. Pun is all the way back at spawn. Ordu's going to be jumping out, trying to stay his life. No, he is going to crater, and Beta is going to get the credit for that kill. So that is finally uh, the cap. The point being capped this first time this round. A minute 30 off the or on the clock now. Really uh, not great. That's over half the time. So we're going to see what they can do here. Looks like aggression is coming out on this cliff side from the petting zoo in the... Great soldier bomb from Squid, just going so deep. He's just getting behind. Well, that the scouts are coming in, working off that distraction play. Squid's still behind. His um, Verd's gonna be the first to go down to that coordinated aggression I was talking about earlier. Beta now all alone. He's taking that one v one against uh, Ordu. They're both kind of the same health. And over on this right hand side though, Pika and Android just both bled into that combo. Scrub gonna get both of those kills, and now uh, Scrub did die for that, but no, the scouts didn't get anything on the right hand side. Still, though, they did win that fight overall, 
And uh, that's going to be decent advantage for the blue team. Uh, I don't think they're going to pop forward into this, obviously, but that's going to be even more time that's really... Uh, Little Sparkles can't afford to lose. Actually, the Soldier in on this flank. Nobody was really watching it. He got a lot of damage out on a Pika. Um, but Pika is going to be able to get out of there as... Yeah, he's actually going to win that frag. And actually, the Pops came out. The Heavy also. Android coming out here to defend this point. Pun did pop. I'm not sure if that was a force. Oh, Zealus just died to Ordu. And he was at 99%. Oh, man. That's got to suck. Uh, but they, nothing they could really do there. As, yeah... They're now holding this point with a heavy. Uh, I'm not too sure what heavy viaduct uh, is like, but it might work out for them. Definitely going to deny that bomber pretty well. Pika going to clean up that frag, and there's only 20 seconds. This is an all-too-familiar feeling for Little Sparkle. Scrub, however, got a lot of damage onto Zoo, and he, or Pika, yeah, or Pun, sorry, as he finally does go down, as well as Pika, and... It was, ended up being a pretty good bomb. They got the medic out of position. Now Ordu, however, nobody was looking at him. He got the demo, and now the Heavy coming up for the cleanup as well as the Soldier. Squid and Heavy just standing on point. Android. Yeah, nobody going to be able to take him down. He is actually full, or very low health, sorry. And yeah, they did uh, actually manage to clean that up in the overtime. So it is overtime for the blue team, but there is still two and a half minutes almost. Left on the clock, they have to hold it for. Again, very difficult, but not impossible. I'm assuming they might uh, send out another kind of big suicide wave here. As they've been quite fond of, and it's pretty effective play. So we'll see what they can do. I assume pretty much aggression. Yeah, Soldier again going to be getting behind. That's Squid all the way behind the enemy team doing a ton of jumps as well as Pika uh, getting aggressive on the sniper. They're going to combine and take him out. Now it's taking this 1v1 against the scout, but it's not quite a 1v1 as Squid is there. Over on the soldiers here, though. Big bomb in. He took a lot of fall damage. Scrub is going to die to that. And, uh, Zealus did stay up, but Pun did not. Not quite. I didn't quite catch what Pun died to, but either way, they lost too many players in that. And, uh, Pun's death won them around. Kind of. I mean, obviously, his death didn't directly win them the round, but they did win the round off of that fight. We're going to come up to the third mid fight of the match. Uh, I believe, unless. Is it halftime? Might be halftime. Uh, yes, I believe it is halftime at the moment, considering how nobody's rolling out to mid. So, pretty impressive 3 nothing coming out from the Penning Zoo. They've shown a lot of really good uh, aggression that I honestly I wasn't quite expecting from a team that's gone 0-2 so far in uh, EC Open. But, as I said, Open, uh, really high skill, even Open, like, it's pretty high skill. I know it's the lowest division of ESTA, but these players are still really good, and, you know, it's possible that uh, Petting Zoo just played a bunch of really good teams on their first two matches and probably don't deserve to be two down at the moment. But, either way, Little Sparkles really haven't shown up uh, very much. I think their best round was probably the second round there. They got the most time on the point, or maybe the first, but that third round especially was just really bad for them. Uh, they've played the Sniper a couple times. Sniper hasn't seemed to be working out for them. Um, they've gotten a few, you know, good pushes in. They're not totally, totally getting rolled, but they really need to do something to get on the board at this point because I can't imagine morale is too, too great in the mumble at the moment. Uh, of course, I don't have logs, but looking at the points in the server, don't don't tell uh, every story, but you see the highest person on Petting Zoo, you see 50, 52, 46, 40, uh, and then you look over to Little Sparkles, and you've just got, like, 38, 35, and 30. Um, really just not showing up. You see the lowest point, Ordu, at 27. And that's exactly where Scrub is sitting in the middle of his team. So, again, points don't really tell the whole story, of course. Uh, and logs are much better. But points are an indication of, you know, how much work a player is doing, how often they're alive, things like that. And I think what we're seeing here is pretty clearly that... Little Sparkles aren't really doing all that they can, so we'll see what they do as second half comes alive again. <laughs> Looks like John missed up a little bit of his jumps there. So we'll see. Lar actually looking like he might be the first to mid. Uh, one of the scouts was for sure. He's going to take a little bit of early damage. Uh, Octo, or er, Ordu, sorry, actually going to get really aggressive. All of Red Team getting super aggressive. They're dying a lot. They did get Verd, and now uh, the counter bomb is going to come in. Yeah, Scrub not going to get anything, and that aggression seems to work out for them as they do have the most people on the point, but they are even strength at the moment. 
has a couple more frags go down beta and android as well small time and pun uh lar did a great job just focusing that medic as his entire team just kind of went away lar is the only person alive for his team though um and yeah he's not gonna win anything there as pika does take him down so I think that was a really interesting play from Lar. Uh, the entire red team just kind of pushed forward, except for the med who, Lar, who opened up a position for Lar to kind of get in there as uh, Vert goes down. Um, Lar get in there and just even out the medics uh, situation. So now both teams are going to be slightly even. Uh, the attacking team does have a bit of an advantage just because of the spawn times. And actually now Scrub is going to be jumping in. He's going to be trying to make that an even bigger advantage. No, he's not going to get anything from that. He is going to die. And so that is 5v6 at the moment. Pika kind of poking in here. He's not really going to do anything. The soldier bomb actually onto Cliff. And he's going to be fighting in the air with the other soldier. I, yeah, he's definitely going to crater there. Uh, no way he didn't. But Pika now in behind. He did pick up the scout. Now he's on the pocket. And the medic, he's gotten one good shot on him. He got another one. He did kick up the frag. That's going to be Zealous. Pika on a 6k at the moment. He's been doing a lot of good this game, as I said. And that was the frag that's going to give them... Huge advantage at this point. Probably almost 100%. Pika picks up another one onto Beta. And that's going to put Petting Zoo really strong position. Again, that was about a 90% advantage they had at that point. Holding mid there. Almost half the time expired again, and they're already 3 up. Android flying through the air there. He is going to survive. Uh, Squid did go down, actually, to the Sniper Lar. So... Uh, sniper doing a little bit of work here, but now they do know there's a Sniper for sure. Soldiers in deep. That's Ordor, uh, or something, yeah, or do. <laughs> he didn't get anything, and he did manage to go down. Verd also went down, though. And, uh, Jun again gonna get sniped. Android gonna get sniped as well. Sniper Lar doing so much work here on Vidoc. That's a 3k. And, uh, the Uber did get popped on just Pika. They were afraid of that sniper, and he gets pun as well. The cleanup frag on the Medic Lar just managing to hold this game together. He finally is gonna get bombed and focused by Squid. He's turning around, uh, and he is finally gonna be saved there he's still up he's still doing work and he's gonna probably uh single-handedly get this point soldier is gonna bomb in and he did get lar or do definitely worth after how much work lar just did there uh winning the point and potentially saving the game for his team uh but that of course all depends on how well they hold for the next two and a half minutes here that's we're gonna watch uh zoo trying to come back out here See Verd. Actually, the Uber did get popped um, from Zealus onto Verd. As Verd got a little bit disconnected there. I know he was pretty low. Scrub actually doing a big bomb, and he wants that medic pick. No, he's not going to get anything. Uh, and that's going to be pretty big advantage in favor of Pun. Now, Ordur, yeah. Again, though, Lar going to be coming out with another off class, this time in the heavy. Soldier going to be bombing in on him, and he is going to pick up that frag. Pika going to be the one claiming that. And no, it's just not going to be enough. As they are going to have to back out here. Uh, that's going to be the point going back in favor. There's only 50 seconds left. We do see Pika down here again on a 2k now. Going to pick up Verd. Um, so that is something good for them. You know, just better to hold. We see Scrub actually now on Sniper. We'll see if he can do as much. But of course, they're not quite in the best position. Squid killed mid-air. Beta going to be cleaning up that frag. And again, we see Scrub the Sniper. Going to be trying to get something. Hopefully do as much work as uh, the other Sniper did. He's being kind of focused though. Uh, I think they you know, recognize how powerful that sniper was last time. Even if it's not quite the same person, uh, the aggression still is going to be shared. Actually, the pop did get forced out, I believe, that was uh, from Pun. So, onto the heavy, mostly, uh, as they do pick up Lar, who is trying to get behind. And now they're just kind of throwing their body at the point they really need to. There's still a half-health heavy standing on that point. And yeah, the demo not focusing on Pika. Uber did come out on the sniper for a little bit there, but that's not going to be enough. That's going to make it 4-0, and that is going to be GG. So, uh, very strong showing from the petting zoo here. Uh, definitely proved that they were the more powerful team. But I got to give it to uh, Lar there. Uh, if I can find him here. Great work on that sniper play. Got a 4K. Almost kept his team in it. But they were just not quite good enough. So, this has been week two, game one, game three of total. Uh, but game one of the week. Thank you for so much. Thank you so much for watching. My business name. My name's holy balls. I can't talk anymore, dude. My name's been Corn Pop 16. Uh, this has been ESEA Season 21. I'll be back probably tomorrow, hopefully, uh, with another 6v6 showcast. So I'll see you next time.